Okay, so I don't know if that little hair came from the Blendiful or what. Oh, there's another one. I think this might be shedding. Oh my goodness. This is so frustrating. Please don't come for me. <laughs> I love Tati, but I definitely want to give you guys a very honest review. I want to share all of my thoughts with you. Hi guys, in today's video, I will be trying out the new Blendiful by Tati Beauty. So on one side of my face, I will be using these applicators to apply my makeup. And then on the other side of my face, I will just apply my makeup normally. So I'll be using the Wonder Blender uh, by Shop Miss A, which is what I always use. So yeah, you guys, I'm super excited to see how everything turns out. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and jump right into the makeup application. As you guys can see, I already have my eyes and eyebrows done, um, but I am still missing the rest of my makeup. So I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Putty Primer. This is my favorite primer at the moment. You guys, if you hear the airplanes going by, I'm really sorry, I live by an airport and this whole day I've been trying to record and they just keep going by. I don't know if they're like circling around or something, so. I'm really sorry about that. So on this side of my face, I'm going to apply the primer with my hands like I usually do. And then on this side, I will go in with the blendy full. So let's go ahead and get started. So just applying the primer like usual. Get some right there. All right, and so now we're gonna move on to this side and I'm just dotting it on my face and then I'll just blend it in with the blendy full. All right, let's go ahead and start that. <laughs> it's, it feels kind of weird, but it's not bad. Like it's really soft. All right. Wow, that was pretty fast. Got some on my hair. Okay. I feel like with my hand, it takes me forever. And that was just like, okay, you're done. So I'm just gonna do the forehead now. And see, even though this is so big, it is like, you can just like bend it like this and go into smaller areas. Or I could go in with the little one, but we're already here. All right, you guys, so that was pretty fast and it's a bit confusing because I want to apply more because I feel like I didn't apply enough but I feel like I did it just feels like I didn't because it was so fast all right you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to foundation I will be using the Milani conceal and perfect foundation um, this is one of my favorites so I know how it performs so I'm just gonna take some on the back of my hand like that and I'm going to use my Wonder Blender to blend it out. So um, a little bit more about the Blendy Full because I know I jumped right in to the makeup application. But uh, like I said, this is new from Tati Beauty um, and it retails for $18. It comes with the two applicators. I did think that $18 was a bit pricey, but when you take into consideration that it does come with both the big one and the mini one, I think that's pretty cool because I feel like other brands, like when they do big and mini applicators, they like to sell them separately. Um, so I think it's pretty cool that she went ahead and included both. And Tati did say that she was going to um, upload a video showing us how to use oh my hair is crazy <laughs> oh no sorry guys but tati said that she was going to upload a video um basically giving us a tutorial on how to use uh her applicator because she did say that you can apply uh your primer foundation powder um you can contour with it so i'm very excited to see her video and uh hopefully she can give us a little bit more information about the blendy full. I'm taking the foundation down to my neck and then I do like to take it down even lower like to my chest so whatever I'm wearing if I'm showing a bit more skin than usual I do like to apply foundation in those areas as well. All right so now I'm gonna go in with this and blend it out. Doo -doo -doo. Like should I tap or should I like just wipe? I don't I don't know. 
we're just winging it because I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I think tapping works a little bit better and then maybe a little bit of like wiping motions. I, I don't know. <laughs> this is definitely, you know, very new to me. I feel like it's gonna be new to everyone. Well, actually, she did say that um, like professional makeup artists do use like applicators like this. So I guess it won't necessarily be new to everyone, but I definitely don't see applicators like this being used a lot in the beauty community, like when I watch YouTube videos and stuff. So I feel like this could be a game changer if it if it works and so far i mean i think it's working okay i just feel like i need to be educated on it a little bit more so when it comes down to like this area i don't really like how that's looking i don't know if that's normal or what's happening there maybe i just need to tap it in more i don't know i don't really like that i just really want to like reach for the wonder blender and just like i don't know blend it out so I thought uh, application was going to be a bit faster, but it's actually taking me about the same time that it took me with the Wonder Blender. I'm actually having a little bit more trouble trying to use this than when I use the Wonder Blender. But I feel like um, this side, you can see my pores less than on this side. However, this area right here, I'm not sure what happened, but you guys can probably tell there's like the foundation didn't like blend in as much maybe if i apply a little bit more it'll help but i don't want to like put too much because i still have to do concealer but let me just apply a little bit more and see if that helps but we're gonna go ahead and move on to concealer this is the aoa studio liquid concealer and this one is in the shade ivory so i'm gonna do this side with the Wonder Blender. There we go. Doo -doo -doo. And I've really been loving this concealer. So I've been using it a lot. <laughs> so I also know what to expect. I'm not sure how I feel about the Blendy Full yet. Um, I just feel like I'm such a like sponge person when it comes to applying their makeup so i'm not sure if i'm gonna end up loving the blendy full more than the sponge all right so that is what that is looking like um so for the concealer i'm gonna go in with the little blendy full um so let's go ahead and apply the same amount of concealer to the other side there we go This is so weird. Oh no, there's a little hair there. Excuse me, get off my face. Okay, so I don't know if that little hair came from the Blendiful or what. Oh, there's another one. I think this might be shedding. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna keep moving. Oh my goodness. This is so frustrating. I don't like that it's shedding. And you guys, please don't come for me. <laughs> I love Tati, but I definitely want to give you guys a very honest review. I want to share all of my thoughts with you. I am just expressing what's happening as I am using the product. I feel like I'm having a really hard time. I'm like something's happening there. I don't understand what's going on there. Like I really just want to go in with the sponge and fix it I'm so confused I'm not sure what to do I'm not sure if I should go in with more product or just keep trying to blend I don't know okay I'm just gonna tap a lot maybe that'll help okay it looks like it's helping a little bit all right you guys so I just kept working at it and like tapping in around this area it looks a little bit better so we're gonna go ahead and move on to powder so i have one of my favorites this is the uh flower setting powder by beauty bakery and i'm using the one in the shade oat which is just a translucent shade 
So <laughs> this is what our blend default is looking like. I think I'm gonna use one of these corners, this one. This one hasn't been used. You can kind of see like this texture over here is different because that's what I use to apply the primer with. So I'm gonna go in with this corner and apply the powder. Again, I'm really sorry about the airplanes that just keep going by, but I don't think they're gonna stop anytime soon. <laughs> All right, so I'm just taking the blendy full and applying the powder on it. So it looks like that. And, whoa, this reminds me of baking. <laughs> Okay, so powder is applying so nicely. That looks really, really nice. Again, this area is just like giving me issues. It just looks really dry. I'll zoom you guys in uh, in a little bit to show you what I mean. But yeah, I'm not, I don't know what's going on there. Wow. I feel like that did wonders for my pores. Like, that's crazy. Now I'm just confused because that that's amazing. This did so great with powder. It's like, would I buy this just to apply powder if it's gonna make my face look like that? Maybe because, wow. <laughs> so moving on to uh, contouring. And I always say contouring weird, so please don't judge me too much. <laughs> but I'm going to go in with a mixture of both of these shades. And I'm going to just contour on this side like I normally would with a brush. Okay, a little, I went a little bit too far out this way, but that's because my hairline is like super uneven as you guys can see. <laughs> so sometimes that's a little bit confusing. All right, and then down here a little bit. And then I like to go in with more of the face powder that I use and just apply it down here to make the contour just look a bit cleaner. So I'm gonna take the little blendy full and I'm going to do the same thing. How would I do that? So if I want to do both of these shades, could I do what I did with the brush? What did I do first? Okay, so first I go in here, there's some product, then I go in here, there's some product, and then I go back in here, there's some product, okay. So, how would you, whoa, okay, I think I like how that's applying, I can't really tell yet, oh, that went a little bit too low see maybe if I okay if you fold it that gives you a little bit more control all right and then I'm gonna I guess blend it out <laughs> with this part this is so new to me okay so I'm gonna go in with powder now Oh, it keeps shedding. <laughs> it's like super fuzzy. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know, is this supposed to shed that much? So for blush, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio. And this one is in Pink Passion. So I'm just going to go in to the middle shade. And the last shade, I like to mix those and we're just going to apply it to the face like usual with a brush on this side. So going back to the mini blendy full, I'm going to just go ahead and use the other side. So I'm just going to move this back like that and use this side. Um, let's see. So I guess I'm going to go in to this one first. There's some product, and then this one, there's some product. So <laughs> I'm trying to tap off the excess, but it's like this isn't a brush, so I'm just like so used to doing that. I'm a little scared, because I feel like this is gonna be crazy. I'm just gonna tap it a little bit. <laughs> and uh, with the, not this side, but a different side, um, we are going to blend that out. Well, at least uh, it lets you know that 
you don't have to use as much product as when you use a brush so I think that's a good thing and it's blending out okay so that's oh it keeps shedding <laughs> so that's also a good thing not the shedding but that it's blending out I don't know if the shedding is going to annoy some of you guys as much as it's annoying me I'm not sure why it's annoying me so much but it's just like stop shedding <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see a difference but this is what this side is looking like and then this side mm. so I zoomed you guys in even closer so that hopefully you guys can get a better look at the areas that I was talking about so right here like it looks pretty dry all like all right here it doesn't look too great um and then this side that's what this side looks like mm. so yeah <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and then i'll be right back to tell you guys my final thoughts so i am done with the rest of my makeup and i did take some pictures of this whole makeup look so i have had this makeup on for a few minutes so my oils have started to peek through a little bit but yeah anyways um so my final thoughts on the blendy full i don't hate it i did dislike that this one had some issues with shedding um but it is new so i do have to take that into consideration um maybe after you wash it it won't shed as much but like uh just picking at it a little bit there's a few little um uh furries there <laughs> um i don't know what you would call them but yeah, so maybe after you wash it, um, there won't really be any shedding. With this one, I didn't really experience that, so that's good. I felt like the primer application was really quick. The foundation, it was okay. I feel like it took me around the same time to apply my foundation with both the sponge and the blendyful. I did have a bit of trouble um, around this area. I think maybe that's just a dry area for me um and then around my nose right here hopefully you guys could see a bit more of what i was talking about when i zoomed you guys in um a lot of times it's hard it's harder to see certain things on camera than it is in person um especially if you get super super close and then what i was really really impressed with was the powder application so i definitely really really like that i feel like i definitely need to work with this a bit more i definitely need to see how tati uses it and i feel like she's gonna give us more information on her video um, about these so I am definitely excited to see her video and hopefully I can learn more so I think in conclusion I don't hate it but I don't love it I feel like it works but I did have some issues with it so it's kind of like I have to use it more I have to learn more about it um, and just get more comfortable with it because I was definitely you know not in my comfort zone um, but yeah you guys I really hope that that was helpful I feel like it, there was a lot of maybes and I don't know but that is it for today you guys thank you so so much for watching I really hope that you enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one bye